my brothers, the boxers of the world. My cradle as a newborn baby was filled with the best wishes, as it is always for a firstborn. My mom and dad didn't know how to be parents, and they took care of me in the best way they knew how. Years went by, and boxing was always present. As a two-year-old kid, I have a picture with Raul Raton Macias in his arms. Boxing was my dad's life. Even though he had been in the sport for years, as an amateur boxer, a referee, a judge, and a small town commissioner, when he stepped up to the presidency of the WBC, and not precisely by his choice, he got again the challenge of looking after those kids of the world that wore gloves. And with firm steps, he undertook the endeavor as he did with me, of taking care of the boxers of the world in the best way he knew how. Without any distinction of race, creed, nationality, or even affiliation to an organization. He strived to protect and educate you, making safety rules even against the toughest opposition, because in his heart he had a mission. He cared for the fighters as he cared for us, and believe me when I say this, because he treated boxers in the same way he treated his kids spanked them when it was necessary, and educated them in the best of his capacity so that they could take care of themselves, because the enemy of a boxer is not only the one in the ring. I saw tears in my dad's eyes when a boxer disrespected him, very much in the same way as when I did the same to him. My dear brothers, you have a strong voice. People follow your actions and teachings. They listen to you. And when you say to the press and at a face-off, I'm gonna hurt him, I'm gonna retire him, I'm gonna make him bleed, I'm gonna kill him. Fans start drooling for blood and promoters start counting dollars. Yes, I know, the more money we have, the better. But please allow me to open your eyes to a reality. Your words are heard. You educate people. Please know it. People listen and engage. If any of you really mean it, well, so be it. But in your hands, you have the choice and the power to make a change. To bring back boxing as a sport first, and then as a spectacle from where you make a living. Don Jose did the best to elevate you. Now it's your turn to do your best to elevate the sport he left behind. Today I don't look to the sky to talk to my dad. I look straight to a boxer because I know that he is there, here, next to you, looking after you and still learning how to make your life easier and safer. All for the sake of your well-being and the nobility of the sport of boxing. When you are sad, when you are down or even angry, please remember that one man truly devoted his life for you. And all you have to do when you remember Don José Sulaiman is offer him a smile. 